Hello people, we are finally here at Mariah Island which is a remote island off the east coast of Tasmania. And by the way, that is Mariah Island. That's where we are going. Break up, leave this cause you don't need to be ashamed. Everyone's got their hearts broken sometime. Let's go out and lose our minds, forget all about him. You. some sunscreen but I'm not going to the water a friend of mine reminded me that sunscreens actually promote uh, coral reef bleaching so I won't be going into the water wearing this Hello people, we are finally here at Mariah Island which is a remote island off the east coast of Tasmania. Um, a few facts about this island, you can't bring your car. So the only way to get around this place is um, getting your bicycle or walking. So we are walking and getting here was super easy. There's a ferry, the one behind me, which starts from Trabana Wharf. It's about uh, $45 per person. To get to and fro a return ticket and you have to get a park pass as well and the first ferry is 8 30 a.m that's what we took which gives us a lot of time to explore the whole place during the day the last ferry is at um, 4 15 so we have to be here at four o'clock we plan to explore on foot a few walks a few places we saw a few vlogs and this place looked so fabulous I am really excited. This is, I think, one of the best things I am doing on my birthday. Um, also, it was a 30 minute journey on the ferry. I don't know where you came from. I don't know what you did to my heart. You touched my soul like a phantom. And you did it right from the start. Um, this was such a spontaneous de decision that we are just doing a day trip but if given a chance I would definitely stay here and it's been 30 minutes that we are here and we have seen plenty of wildlife wallabies, wombats, uh, weird ducks, I don't know what all After an easy 30 minutes walk from Darlington Port, you reach Fossil Cliffs Platform, which is a spectacular site of cliff edges that were formed by fossilization of millions of sea creatures, plants and animals almost 300 million years ago. You can find fossils of clams, seashells, uh, scallop shells, corals, sea lilies that were deposited here so, so long ago that it tells you the history from rocks. This was an incredible and one-of-a-kind place to see. These are definitely fossils. 
we were just here and now we are going to this this one bishop and clerk and we have to go up there oh to over there We got super lucky with the weather. It wasn't raining but it was super windy which helped us bear the heat and sun. Plus the clear sky made the ocean look stunning in crystal clear sparkling blue water that I had never seen in my life. This was a sight to behold in my memories forever. After walking up from the meadows, this is the second part. These are eucaly eucalyptus and gum forests. So you pass through this and you go up the mountain. It's definitely a difficult trek. I mean, from below there, it's such a steep climb. They have to go up there. I'm out of breath. As I walked deeper into the forest, the climb got steeper and more difficult. The path is not marked and we did not see any other human being around us at all. There were times when I felt like we are lost or going in the wrong direction. And I had decided that as soon as we hit a dead end, I turn back no matter if I reach the summit or not. I highly advise you to come here only if you have got good hiking or bushwalking experience. I had my GoPro attached to my bag and I just kept on walking along the track that was winding through the forest without knowing where it led. Also I saw so many black lizards, bugs and bees on this track, don't come here if you are scared of them. Oh yeah, it gets deeper though. Wow. But only for a little bit, so just wait for the wind to die down. Okay, thank you. Once the forest cleared, I felt like that's it, we have reached, but no. This was the beginning of the most difficult part of this hike and it involved rock scrambling and holding on for your dear life. Just kidding, but this was the most difficult 10 minutes that went straight uphill. This was steep, this was like really bad, get some really good hiking shoes. I'm wearing my Vans, they were pretty good, but wear good shoes. Follow those yellow markers. One of those is Bishop, one of those, and I think one of those is Clark. And look at the view. Oh my god. This is super crazy. I think you can go up there, but I'm not doing it because it's super, super dangerous. And it's basically rock climbing up here. I don't know how we did it. It's 12 noon. We were there. The views are fabulous. We're heading down now. Um, all of that hard work was worth it. I mean, look at the color of the water. Our ferry is in four hours and be prepared it's a really difficult track to one it's super windy I'm gonna go down bye <laughs> 
update halfway down. The last part is the most difficult part. Um, it's only rocks that you have to climb. And then when you get up there, it's super windy. Also, the path is barely marked. Only the last part has got proper markers. Orange markers, if you're doing it, stick to those orange markers. That tells you the right way. The forest, the, and there are no markers in the forest. Also, there are a lot of lizards in here. So if you're scared, be prepared. Also, it's quite high up there. If you have vertical, don't do it. Carry a lot of water. You'll definitely need it. Carry some food like we did. Also, we noticed that uh, the part that has been walked on the ro in the rocky section are brownish and the other ones are gray white so stick to the brownish rocks you'll be fine and we were at, over there in such a good time that a chunk of people left and we were there and when we were coming down another chunk of people were climbing up so we had the place all to ourselves finally made it back here i'm flustered and tired my butt sake now <laughs> but i'm happy we did that it was worth worth it i can't imagine we were up there and then we are here